Capricorn. Don't be so quick to comment on what you see. Especially when that comment comes from a place of judgment. Because something is still transforming. There is, it's still in process. It's still cocoon. So there is a sense of yelling at the caterpillar for not being the butterfly yet. When it is still in transition or looking at this caterpillar or looking at this cocoon and getting upset with it and getting pissed because it can't fly yet. It is becoming that beautiful, beautiful thing. But the, the bottom line is... It just takes time and the process is not as glamorous as you would like it to be. The process is not as um, magical. You know, it's, it, you are getting this beautiful new opportunity, this beautiful new life. But why isn't it beautiful? Why isn't it? It's like, oh my God. It's like you're building your fucking dream home. And it is going to be your dream home. But is it, but the construction process is bullshit. It's shit. It's, it's, cra it's, cra you always run into a pipe that you didn't think was there and you have to build a fucking round it or you can't tear down that wall because you realize it's attached to historical property. And, oh my fucking God. Just because it's like the stress of building is almost kind of like eating away at you right now to think, I made the wrong choice. I fucked up. You know, I thought this was going to be good and it's not good. It is good. It's just, it's just, it's just imperfect. Right? The definition of goodness isn't perfection. And anything that is being manifested into the 3D world, Capricorn, is going to be imperfect. Because, or it's at least going to be fucking difficult. There's, it, there's always going to be these convoluted aspects to it, Capricorn. These crazy aspects. But oh my God, that was my dream home. The blueprints were approved. I have the money in the bank. I hired the perfect architect. Everything was set up. It looks so fucking good until we broke goddamn ground. And now it's one headache after another. That's the construction process. That does not mean... Please do not internalize this to mean that you broke ground in the wrong place. You hired the wrong architect. It's almost like there's a sense of wanting to throw everything away because it's just not as perfect as it looked on paper. Because the truth is you were so scared of really believing that you deserve this perfection. And so now you're looking for the imperfections to prove yourself wrong, to go back to the place where you felt safe, which is where you were stuck before you broke ground. Well, enough with that crap Capricorn. I love you guys and I want you to be happy. And your happiness, I guarantee you, is on the other side of this crazy construction process. I worked for a building company and they were the most, they were brilliant. They were brilliant contractors, brilliant builders. There was always fucking problems. I mean, architects draw ideals and then contractors have to build the reality and building the reality is never pretty. It's always dusty. It's always dirty. And it always takes at least six weeks more than they promised. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like 100% of the time. Does that mean that what you end up with isn't going to blow your fucking mind? No. It's going to blow your fucking mind. You are on your way to that beautiful, beautiful new life. You are on your way to that beautiful dream home. It's just the construction process is fucking ugly. And you know what? That's just the reality. I mean, 100%. That does not mean that you aren't supposed to be doing this. It just means that all construction processes are ugly. If we could take a glimpse into the cocoon and see what is happening to the caterpillar's body. Give me a second. Because I have to swallow my vomit. 
is ugly. Have you ever seen the fly? Remember that old Jeff Goldblum movie? <laughs> it's like it's like it's like really disgusting. It's kind of like that. It's like it's like oh oh my god! It's like literally deconstructing something from the inside out on a cellular level. If you looked inside a cocoon, you'd be like. Whoa. <laughs> You would never be able to look at a butterfly the same way again. <sighs> Does that mean the butterfly isn't beautiful? Does that mean the butterfly doesn't deserve to get a chance to live because it has to go through an ugly process to become? Becoming is difficult. Have you read the Michelle Obama book? I don't care about your political uh, orientation. She's a Capricorn. That's why I mention her. And, you know, even that beautiful, perfect relationship and family that we always saw, as, uh, you know, at the, 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 uh, the picture of the Obamas, right? The one thing people agree on, they were such a beautiful family. They really were. They're a tight unit, and they are a tight unit. But it's ugly to stay that tight. It's hard work. There's a lot of sweat. There's a lot of sacrifice. There's a lot of compromise. There's a lot of confronting oneself and confronting the other person. There's a lot of talk. There's therapy involved. There's a bunch of stuff. There's, there's that ugly truth of the construction work that goes into that beautiful butterfly that we see. And you're just like, oh my God, the butterfly is so beautiful. I want that. You really want that butterfly? You got to go through the ugly inside of the cocoon. And that's what's going on now. And that's why I don't want you beautiful, beautiful souls that deserve so much happiness to turn the fuck around and be like, uh, 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 because I didn't sign up for the ugly. Uh, 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 uh. No, no, no. <laughs> if it's ugly, then clearly it's not meant to be. Bullshit. That's bullshit. I'm here to tell you right now, if there's one thing you can listen to out of this whole fucking reading... It's bullshit. The construction process is ugly. I'm going to keep repeating it over and over again because you need to hear it. It's just, it's ugly. If you're dealing with a relationship right now, it's happening really fast. It's going, it, it is going really well. But there's a lot of things that are disorderly and you don't like disorder. It makes you feel uncomfortable. Right? It makes you feel like things aren't right. It makes you feel like I don't belong here. You don't belong there. You don't belong on a construction site. You belong in your dream home, which is where you're headed once you get through this construction site. Okay? That's where you belong. You just have to go through this crappy process to get there. So that's why you got to keep going. Because that's where you belong. You belong in your dream home. And your dream home will be built. And it will be built strong because oh, you, you, you built the walls where you were supposed to. And you, you didn't second guess good advice that was being given to you. And you took the extra three weeks, even though it meant not having a kitchen for another three weeks. You, you took the time to do it right, even though it was dirty and grungy and ugly you, you take this time right now. You confront it right now. You stay in that cocoon a little bit longer. You let the ugly get a little bit uglier. For one purpose, what's coming out of it. Because that, my friends, is still very much guaranteed to you. That beautiful, beautiful dream home that you have deserved for so long. You don't have to doubt it. You don't have to doubt it. There is a sense of feeling like, fuck this shit. What? So I didn't sign up for this infantile crap. Uh, what is this craziness? What is this wackiness? If you're dealing with somebody in terms of a relationship, you're, there's a sense of, um, that's a little quirky for me to handle. <laughs> you know, they're still that amazing person that you fell for. They still do have that foundation and those solid aspects of them. But you're right. I mean, can people fart or they have dairy allergies that give them bad. You know what I mean? Like it's almost like for you guys right now, the honeymoon phase is over and now you're getting into the truth and the reality. And normally you guys are good with the reality. 
fucking get it all kind of scheduled. You take control of it. But this is something more tender for you. This is something that is not business. This is something that even if it is a business, it is your business. It's the first time you've ever opened up a new business. And there's fear involved because you're vulnerable. And you Capricorns hate being vulnerable. You just do. And I get it. But there is so much vulnerability in, in this construction work. You could run the shit out of somebody else's building somebody else's dream home. You wouldn't be afraid for a second. But because this is your dream home, everything feels like it's just it their stakes are so high because this is you you and maybe that's a good solution like imagine if this was somebody else if imagine if this was somebody else's project somebody else's construction work that you were the operations manager for you wouldn't be scared at all you'd be like yeah it's gonna take an extra three weeks you know you'd be like the guy the scene from moonstruck you gotta spend money you got to spend money to save money. And if it was somebody else's money, you'd be cool. But it's your money. And you know how hard you worked for it. So you're sitting there like, uh, do I really need the copper pipes? I'm not really sure. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'm saying? But that's what's happening. Now, if it was somebody else's project and you didn't feel so vulnerable, you would literally be like, of course you need the copper pipes. Of course you need the copper pipes. They may be 10 grand more. Who gives a shit? You understand that that means that for 25 years, you're not going to have a problem. It would be so easy if this was somebody else's job, if this was somebody else's dream home, if you were just running the job for somebody else. But because this is your dream home, that's why there's that extra clench. But once you get over that, and maybe a good, like almost like psychotherapy for yourself would be to pretend it's somebody else's job. How would you be talking to them? How would you feel if you could remove yourself just a little bit from the situation and run it like it's somebody else's job? Would you be as scared? Would it look as fearsome? It's the oddities. It's the quirkiness that's scaring you. Why? Because it's so important to you. But I'm going to be visiting you in that dream home. I know I am. This is you stuck in the cocoon. This is the, this is the cocoon taking longer than you thought it would. This is that sense, <laughs> that sense of um, everything was moving so quickly. Everything is coming together. But it's coming together in a way that's still sort of under wraps. It's not coming together. It's still, it is still moving. I promise you things are moving forward. They're just moving forward in a more insulated place right now. It's almost like, you know, those spiral staircases, they were really popular in the eighties. You are moving up right? It just seems like you're not because it's such a tight, like a tight twist right now, but you are going someplace. You are moving. This is a sense of listening instead of talk. Don't judge, open up your mind and be as open as you possibly can to this whole process of breaking down to build up. Because there's a sense of wanting to just run the fuck away and being real so scared of of what uh, just so scared of 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 what is going on on that construction site. Let me continue with the metaphor that you want to turn tail, bury your head in the sand, and get the fuck away as quickly as possible. There is that impulse right now. And that's why I'm saying instead of judging them, especially if this is a person that you're dealing with, instead of judging them believe in them. This is going to be the trick. This it is, it is believe in them and their worth. And once you see they're ugly, it's like the first time somebody that it's like that. The first time that perfect guy farts in front of you. Can you ever look at them the same way? Um, I guess not, but you're really not supposed to look at them the same way, right? You're supposed to always look at them. Every day is a new day. And if you were really in this for the long term, you think you're, in 20 years from now, you're going to see them the same way you saw them when you met them? Now, you know that. You understand that very well when it's somebody else's heart and it's a friend that you could give the advice to. But for you, this is scary and I know it. And that's why I think you're so amazing and I think you're so brave for being here and sticking with it because I know how hard it is for you to be vulnerable and almost kind of like floating on water 
and not feel that solid ground under your feet right now. Maybe things are moving so quickly you don't understand it. You don't see it. And that's what's making you feel uncomfortable. Either way, there is this sense of the process making you uncomfortable. And you being tempted to judge the future on the process of getting there. Please don't. Because no process is ever perfect. And nothing ever goes directly as planned. It's nothing. You may be dealing with a Pisces. Uh, Pisces or Taurus. Either way, there is this sense of patience. Patience before you judge and before you run away, before you up and leave and skedaddle the fuck out of there because you're scared as hell. <sighs> Sometimes it's hard to see somebody's abundance when things are moving so quickly. If you slow it down, now you can start to see those details that you love, those details that you started to miss, those details that you thought were lost, they're not lost. They're not lost. They just need you to pull back a little bit in order to see them. There's such an abundance of emotions right now, and they're beautiful emotions. There's also an abundance of resources because this is Taurus energy. This is Pisces energy, so it almost feels like it's fantastical. It almost feels like it's a dream. It almost feels like all these resources are hypothetical right now, which is why you could be opening up your own business. There is a sense of, yes, I can. I, I feel like it's going to be successful, but he's like, the money isn't in my account yet. But you got to start somewhere. And ultimately, especially from a light worker and a spiritual worker like I am, you got to believe it before you manifest it. You got to see it before you hold it in your hands. Or else you're never going to hold it in your hands. So you got to start in that psyche world of 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 um what's a good way? Not a fantasy, but of possibility. You've got to start in the realm of possibility. Going from Pisces to Taurus takes a lot of energy, right? What's in between Pisces and Taurus? Aries. <laughs> takes a lot of energy. It's going to take like atomic energy to take you from this place of um, potential and possibility and hypothetical to tangible resources. But the cards are saying going to happen. <sighs> what I want to say to you, two things, either you're scared that the past is going to repeat itself and influence or impact the future. And that's what's making you feel so vulnerable. You feel like shit you know what? I have been fucked before when it came to contractors. I don't want to be fucked again. There's a sense of this not being able to completely trust based on what has happened to you in the past. There's a sense of the past informing the future and making it feel a little unstable. But the past actually is making it more stable because all those mess ups that you went through in the past have actually made you more experienced and they were they were they were designed to make you knowledgeable and prepared prepared to handle what's coming it's like, it's like you saved up for a rainy day and you may have saved up for knowledge. You may have saved up with experience, but whatever the fuck it is, the past will come back around again. But you know what? It's not going to be the same. There is a sense of certainty and assuredness, self-assuredness that you're going to have this time around that is going to build the bridge that you need to not let history repeat itself. You're vulnerable right now. And you feel like somebody's letting you down or um, 
like nobody's got your back, but that's not the truth. Let spirit be your guide. It's almost like you feel like you're out. You, no, no, no. You are out there in front. You are out there in front. Like you're in the lead. So there is a sense you're, you're somewhere where you've never been before. And so you do feel exposed. Completely wide open. Okay. Yeah. This is the rope bridge that you have to cross. I'm not, listen, and I'm not trying to diminish what you're feeling right now, but I'm saying, yes, you have hacked through the jungle. You have gotten this far, and now you have to cross that fucking 600 foot long rope bridge that has been swinging he there for the past thousand years. And you're like, Really? Really? You feel like right now, oh, wow. Oh, God, I could really use you to be like, I don't know, <laughs> send me an airplane. Nope. You got to cross the rope bridge. Let me rephrase that. You will cross the rope bridge. It will hold you. You think you don't feel you don't feel or think or see spirit right now. Spirit isn't tangible in ways that it may have been before. But believe me when I tell you, it's holding you up. It's like that saying of the footprints in the sand. I grew up Christian, so um, you know that's a it's a metaphor or, or a parable um, that um, that we that that is very popular in the Christian community. That sense of those times when you felt like I wasn't there, I was carrying you. Those times when you feel the most exposed and the most vulnerable are the times the time when you feel like, oh my God, I can't feel anything. It's because somebody's lifted you up. And they're, they're carrying you. I'm, I'm doing something new. I didn't, I started this, um, with Aries, I think last week <clears throat> we're doing spirit messages now. So spirit guides and angels, they talk, I feel them all the time. They talk to me all the time and I do this in my dailies. I've been doing this in the dailies for quite some time. If you've never jumped on, I do dailies every, every Monday not now because I'm traveling, but um, every Monday through Thursday, I do them on Instagram. And then I'm here on Fridays. Every Fridays, I usually do a daily uh, here on uh, YouTube. And I, and I love it. And I always incorporate the angel messages into those readings. And I, I want to share those, those angel messages and spirit guide messages with you. In particular, zodiac sign specific in the week ahead to give you that weekly infusion of somebody is here for you. These are what your spirit guides are telling you. You're not alone. So let's get into those messages right now. Yes, there is still an extended. This does not take the place of it. Please do join me for the extended. Please do. <laughs> that link is below. You'll see it. And that still includes that full tarot spread, which is going to articulate all this energy and give us some more details and predict the future a little bit. And also Capricorn, your romance reading is over there too. That's just an FYI. You guys know how that stuff works. That hasn't changed, but this is very important to me. And I feel like as I grow this channel, to be totally honest with you, I just want to continue to be more and more myself. And as wacky and crazy as it sounds, I do believe in angels. I know they're around me all the time. And I want to share that with you. Blue angel. Remember what I said to you that the angels are around you right now? Blue angel is Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is the warrior. He is God's right hand man. He goes in and he stands up for what's right. You are so protected right now. There's nothing more I can say except Archangel Michael. If you have been seeing a lot of blue, a lot of blue light, maybe even blue spots in your face, you are surrounded by Archangel Michael's light 
It is him that's showing up, his energy around you to defend you through this time. He knows you're going through shit. He knows you're going through hard times. That's why he's there. To wield his mighty sword, or sword is just a metaphor for his energy, to basically slay all those dragons you think are going to get you. They're not. You're protected. I, Archangel Michael, am here by your side. I am, around, I am all around you and will forever protect you. Remember this whenever you feel fearful. I love you. All is well. Next card out, integrity. Be flexible, right? But also true to you. Uh, but 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 be also true to you. Stand by your beliefs and values, and others will stand by and believe in you. So you don't have to abandon yourself or pretend that you're not feeling afraid right now. That's what the angels want you to know. It's like if you're say you're. This is all metaphor, okay? Say you're in a relationship right now, and you are scared and you are worried. Don't pretend you're not. Tell them. Be like. I am so scared right now. Things feel weird between us. You can share those feelings. Don't pretend like something isn't going on. The more vulnerable you are, the more abundance, the more, listen, the more you communicate your vulnerabilities, the more abundance will become, will come into your life because it's true, because it's honest, because it's sincere, because you're letting spirit know, or you're letting your partner know, Hey, I need something fulfilled. I need something back. So many times Capricorn, the reason why you don't, you get drained is because you're always like, I got this. I got this. You're constantly telling people, I got this. I got this. How much you got, man? Like, are you fucking Atlas? You're going to put the world on your shoulders. I guess you could, you have the energy, but then who loves you? Have the integrity to be true to yourself and say, I mean, yeah, I got, I could, I could got this. No. Could you get this? Please. Could you get this? I need you to get this. Right. That's what's being, that's the trick right now. Really being true to yourself. Not just in this souped up fake fucking morality living up to somebody else's standards, but what do you really need right now? I need you to invest in me. I, I need you to put up the, the $5,000 for me to open up my store. I, I need your help. Okay. As long as you ask for it, you got it. And more protection. You are safe. Do not fear. We are with you always and surround you always with our invisible wings of light. You're allowed to be vulnerable now, Capricorn, because other people are protecting you. You are surrounded by spirit, your ancestors, people who have passed that never leave you. You are protected. You are allowed to be full you. Not who I have to be to make the world not seem so scary. Healing. I, the angel of healing, am with you right now. Feel my presence and my unwavering love for you. I have loved you before the dawn of time and I will love you for all eternity. It's time for you to change. It's time for you to get ugly. It's time for you to get sloppy and know that even when you're that nasty little caterpillar breaking down, you're beautiful. Even when you're that construction project that isn't working out right, you're beautiful because it's not about what you have to do to get there. It's about where you're headed and what you're becoming. And knowing that is going to heal so many parts of you that have been injured that have told you you have to be perfect to be loved. You don't have to be. You just have to be. You just have to know you're deserving of love. To be loved. Achievement. Take a little time to reflect on what you have achieved to date. 
This is a good exercise for you guys. It is often easy to forget where you started from and how far you've come. <laughs> Honor and be grateful for this extraordinary journey that is your life. When you feel like everything is falling to shit, turn around and realize you are, you are, you are on higher ground than you've ever been. And as much shit as you get up here, it's nothing compared to what you've already gotten through. Sometimes we lose sight of that, right? We forget all the shit that we, that are, we already survived and we think, oh, fuck, no, this is just, no, this is crazy. And then the shit storm is back again. It's not back again because you're not in the same place that you were. You're not the same person that you were. The sun has been spinning. Our galaxy has been moving through the universe. You are not in the same place at the same time as you were. You are different. And that's why this is not the same problem. This is not the same shit storm because you've changed and remember that look back and give yourself that credit. <laughs> Last but not least sacred space, which is your dream home. We, your guardian angels surround you with emerald gold and rose pink light. Also pay attention. If you've been seeing those colors, little flashes, around you like if you've been seeing emerald that that deep beautiful green gold and rose pink light if you've been seeing those flashes around you you probably will be knowing that you're in a protected space surrender your concerns and worries and enter this sacred space of love and healing that's what you're building not only is it once again confirming that you are protected and provided for, but it's also a reminder of what you're building. Let's go into the extended. Because I want to know more. I'll see you guys over there.